Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird. It's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite... Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> heard about Uvini when I saw this video. I was looking at Korean fashion hauls on YouTube and I saw that one and I saw that Pikachu top that she was wearing and I, I'm obsessed with Pokemon so I clicked on the video. I'd never heard of Uvini before but it looked like such a cute brand so I was really really happy when they sent me an email and I don't know I mean a lot of brands a lot of brands have been emailing me lately and I don't know if it's because they've seen people in the comments section of my video requesting that I shop at their store or what, but it seems as though whenever people request, the company seems to contact me. So I was really, really excited when I got the email saying that Uvini wanted to collab. So I went immediately on Instagram and I said to everyone, Hey guys, Uvimi wants me to do a video. What do you guys want me to buy? And that's part of my video series, Uweebi, which is you wanted it, I bought it. So basically the way that this video is working is the people that own Uvimi also own a store called Unuzzi or Unuzzi. I'm not really sure how you meant to say it, but basically Uvimi is the Japanese store and Unuzzi is the Korean store. The hottest fashion trend this season. So I said to my followers, guys, Uvini contacted me, I'm gonna do a Uweebi. I know, what a weird sentence, Uvini, Uweebi, Lawai. Everything that I've got in this parcel is stuff that my followers asked me to review. So I really, really hope that you guys like this. And if you do end up buying anything, please send me a message on Instagram, show me some photos. I love seeing how you guys wear the clothes that I've recommended to you. So without further ado, oh, this is such a heavy parcel. I don't know how they managed to cram all of that stuff in here. Throughout this video, you're gonna see some expectation reality shots. This is literally my favorite thing to do ever whenever it comes to brands from, you know, overseas where you see the photos and you're like, surely the thing isn't gonna be that good. Like, surely it's not gonna be that nice for that cheap. So I love to do expectation reality shots. And then I'll probably post some on my Instagram too if they turn out nicely. So don't forget to head over to Pretty Pastel Please on Instagram and give us a follow. You can also follow Archie too if you want. Okay, this packaging looks really sweet. This is the item that started the Uvini interest for me because this is the skirt that that girl was wearing in her video and it looked so cute on her. Now this is the only thing that I ordered that wasn't suggested by a follower. This is the only thing that I picked for myself. So I hope that I like it. There it is. Such a sweet looking skirt with these beautiful little love hearts embroidered into it. The very first thing that I notice about this is the quality. It's really nice. I have a lot of skirts up here that are in my drawer and everything that I get from AliExpress or I get them from Wish or I get them from Romwe. This one, you can really tell the difference. This is really nicely made. The thing with sizing, I put through my order and I said to them that I wanted a small and everything, but they came back to me and they said, oh, they're Asian sizes and we definitely recommend that you get a medium. So everything that I'm trying on today is a medium. And I really hope that it fits because I'm, I'm always buy a small on every website, so I don't know how this is gonna work for me. So we'll see. The quality feels so nice. The love hearts are embroidered in really, really nicely. There's no loose stitching anywhere. The color is a really, really crisp color. So I'm very, very excited about this. All right guys, well, here's the skirt. So this is the image that we're gonna try and recreate. My first impressions of the skirt are that the shorts on the inside are a little bit too short, which means that they're kind of pulling. Can you see how this is kind of a funny shape? because the crotch part of the shorts on the inside is actually pulling this down. So what I have to do is kind of give myself a wedgie with the shorts to make it sit properly. And this was the medium, and the medium fits me as a size six in Australia or a size two in America. I would say get a medium if you're gonna get this skirt and you're my size. I really like the quality of it. It feels really, really good. So let's try and get this expectation reality shot. If Archie will stop chewing on my earrings, let go. So she's basically got this like that. I hope I'm doing this right. 
I think this one is a pass, although I have a, a feeling that this skirt is not the one that I thought it was when I chose it, because the one in this image looks like it's got a panel across there, but this one doesn't. So I'm not entirely sure if it's the right one, but at the same time, it still looks really, really good. Archie, let go! The next item from Uvini is a pink skirt. Now this skirt came in, I believe, four different colors. Again, the material and the make of this one is very nice. It feels really well made. I absolutely love the floral pattern. The floral is like a layer on its own, like this. And then there's a beautiful layer underneath as well, which means that it's not going to be transparent. You won't be able to see undies or anything through that, which is very important to me. So I'm really excited about that. That's so cute. All right, guys, so here's the floral skirt. I really, really adore this one. My only issue with it is that the shorts on the inside, they do tug and it's giving me a major wedgie and it's slightly throwing the shape of it off. Like if I just sit them normally, you can see that the front here kind of dips down. So what I have to do is kind of wiggle around and pull the shorts forward to try and make the belt part sit. Now that's just because I'm five foot nine and I'm probably a little bit too tall for this skirt, but still, even at five foot nine, the shorts do still fit me. I just have to kind of play around with the fit a little bit. So I love this so much. This is probably one of my favorite skirts and it did come in four different colors. So there's a lot of choice there. If you don't necessarily want the pink, I think there was also like a blue and a black and maybe a white, I think. I can't quite remember, I'll put the colors there. So I'm gonna try and get the expectation reality shot of this one, but I know for sure that it already passes the test. This is a dress and this dress, this was so cute. As soon as it was suggested to me and I saw it, I knew I had to get it. I love things with fruit on them. I think fruit, fruit themed clothes are absolutely adorable. Now this fabric is kind of like linen. Here it is. And the strawberries are, I think it's kind of like embroidery. Let me show you. Let's zoom you in. The strawberries look really nice. They're a really, really cute design. I think they're so sweet. A little bit of loose stitching there, but that's okay. I'm very excited about that. It looks a little tiny bit transparent, so I don't know if that's gonna pass the undies test, but we'll see. Yes, it's the return of the bangs. <laughs> The bangs that everyone hates and likes to tell me that they look terrible, but I don't care. <laughs> they make for a good prop. So in the expectation reality photo, the model has the phone kind of up in her face, so you can't see her face at all. And she also has a handbag with an animal. I think I'm just gonna hold Archie down by my side. I'm freaking out over how much I love this dress. It's very short for me. Archie, come here. Come here. No screaming, come here. Archie. Look, strawberries! Strawberries, do you like them? Come on! It's very, very short on me, but not too short. Like, you you can't see my bum. It's not like that disaster of a skirt from the Zaffle video, but it's still a little bit short. I mean, it's a really, really nice light material. It's a tiny little bit transparent, so I have a white singlet on underneath this, and you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but you can kind of see the line just here but it's not too bad. Like as long as you have something white and underneath, it should be fine. I really like the cut and the style and it's really casual. It's very, very light though. It's not gonna be good for autumn or anything. It's, it's gotta be in summer. You have to wear this one because it's like a very light linen. So let's try and get this expectation reality shot. Venus Angelic is quaking. Next up, this is really exciting because a lot of people sent me this one, but the first person that sent it to me was this, this person. I love the look of this on the website. As you can see, I really like things that have rainbows on them. So this is a rainbow pastel knitted sweater. Let's turn the brightness down. There it is. It smells a little bit funky. It smells very funky. I think this one needs a wash, but I love the look of that. That's so sweet. Really excited to wear that. Okay, this one is so, so cozy. I love it. This is the pastel grandma aesthetic that I talked about in my Dolls Kill video. I love this. The only thing is in the pictures, again, it does look a bit bigger. So this is a medium, maybe order a large. I don't know if there's large available on the site, but 
just double check if there is just size it up if you want that oversized look otherwise this medium fits me as a small really really well in the picture she's kind of got it folded over it does go longer and then it kind of cinches in but it's really really nice to just sort of tuck it up like this I use the elastic to make that nice sort of fold at the bottom she's got her braids back she's got her phone she's got a backpack and that backpack is really really cute and I want it <laughs> and she's giving the peace sign okay I adore this I think it's so nice I love the collar all of the little pastel stripes they're really really beautiful the quality of it is really nice it's a light knit but it's still lovely it's very very soft and I love it and I can't wait to wear it out it's so cute I love this one Come here. Do you like it? Do you want to see? What do you think? Do you like it? Hmm? We have... I'm very... Oh, I need to stop saying I'm very excited. What's something that I can say instead... Oh my god, there is someone on that balcony watching me. What do I do? What do I do? I'll just pretend they're not there. I keep seeing this online. This is just a plain white turtleneck, but... It has a little love heart embroidered into the neck. So this one, the fabric, oh my god, like, wow. This fabric is so beautiful. I can't believe how nice this is. It's really thick and really warm and really soft. And I mean, I haven't even put it on yet, but this is my favorite thing so far. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's amazing. All right, here's this white turtleneck. I'm so insanely in love with this. This is absolutely amazing and you need to pause this video right now and go buy one i'm i'm not joking like if, if you come away from this video with one item it's got to be this because this is amazing i can't speak highly enough of the quality it's so so soft i just it, i mean in the pictures it looked soft but nothing could prepare me for how soft it actually is the little heart it's very simple it's just a plain white turtleneck with a little tiny heart but I mean, just the fact that it's so incredibly soft really, really just does it for me. I'm in love with it. I think I'm going to get one of these in every single colour and I'm going to wear them every day for the rest of my life because I love it. And it's amazing. Just, don't you reckon, Archie? You think I'm crazy, do you? Well, I'm sorry it's not green, but it's fantastic and I love it and I love it. And you're not allowed anywhere near it because you might poo on it. Mm-hmm. So in the expectation reality, the girl has a bit of a bob, so I've done my hair up in a slight bob. Ugh. And people keep, oh, Archie, let go, let go, let go. People keep telling me I should cut my hair like this, so drop a comment below if you think I should. So she's got a bag. I don't really have a bag like that. I don't have many black bags, but this is the best I could find. And she's got it draped across the side where the heart is. So if the heart's here, there's the heart. Okay, so she's got it like this. And she's looking, she's looking in the direction of the heart. And she's, here, you, you just sit there. She's just holding it like that. This one is my favorite, without a doubt. Absolutely amazing. Next up, we have, this is really cute. This is another, this is like a rugby shirt and it's got a love heart embroidered into the pocket. This will look really, really nice tucked into a white skirt. I find it hilarious that in 2018, it's completely acceptable to use selfies as product shots on a website. So this jumper, again, the sleeves are short on me, but on the model it looks as though they come past her hands. So that's probably because she has shorter arms than me. I absolutely love this one. I love the way that it sits when you tuck it into a skirt and then slightly pull it out. I'll see if I can get... Ugh, I'll see if I can take my expectation reality shot without covering up the lovely pocket. Archie, can you just hold my hair there for me so it doesn't get in the way? So she's just kind of got her hair sort of pushed off her back like that. Alrighty. Oh, she also has white stockings on. Damn. Oh. 
Oh, in the picture she had hers buttoned up. Hang on, better try that one again. Well, this one's definitely a pass. This is another thing that I'm gonna wear all over the place. I'll just show you the length of it. So without being tucked in, it comes down to that length. So it's a really, really nice length. The fabric is really nice too. It's not as soft as the white turtleneck, but it's still soft and it's very, very nice quality. And that's the little pocket with the heart and that's sewn on really, really nicely. And I'm in love with this and it's one of my favorite things. Next up, I can't remember what this is. Can't remember. Oh, oh, this looks very different to what it looked on the website. This is a peach embroidered skirt, but I'm sure that online it looked very, very pink, but this is brown, but it's got little peaches embroidered into it. See? But yeah, this is, this is definitely not the color that I thought it was going to be, but it's very thick and it's winter here in Australia. So this will be really, really nice to wear in winter. And it's got the shorts built in as well. So that's definitely a plus. Archie, come see. Okay, so I'm not having the same issue fit-wise with this skirt. This one, even though it has shorts on the inside, it's fitting me totally fine. It's sitting up here on my waist and the shorts are really comfy. I've just got on this turtleneck because in the expectation reality photos, she's wearing a white turtleneck. So this is the same one as earlier. And I honestly never want to take it off because it's the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. And this skirt, I can't praise it highly enough in terms of the quality. It's a really nice fleecy material and it's winter in Australia right now. So I'm going to be living in this for the next few months. But the only issue is that the colour is definitely not right for the expectation reality. In the expectation it was pink, but the reality it's kind of like a nude beigey colour. Now I don't know if that's because maybe I asked for the wrong colour, or maybe they sent the wrong colour, or the images don't reflect the true thing. I'm going to have to check after when I'm editing and I'm going to put the pictures here and I'm going to try and figure out exactly what might have happened. But in terms of quality, I love this skirt. The embroidery is really, really nice. The little peach patches are sewn on really, really nicely. The fit is lovely. I do adore this one. I think it's so great. Now the expectation reality shirt is going to be a bit of a tricky one because she's sitting in a chair. So let's see how we go. Something I did notice just then when I was taking the expectation reality photos is that the peaches on the photo appear to be a lot closer together than what they really are. There's kind of like, there's one, there's one, there's one. But in the photo, it looks as though they're all quite close. So that's the only thing that I noticed. Next up. What's this? Oh, this one. I love how they styled this in the photos. This is worn with jeans. This is a really, really soft knitted jumper and it's got love hearts on the sleeves. Look, see the little love hearts? That's really cute and it's really soft too. It's not as soft as that white one, the white turtleneck that I held up, but this is knit and that was some sort of fleecy material. So this, wow, I love this. I can't wait to put this one on. Okay, so this top is really, really soft. It's a knitted top. The sleeves aren't as long as they looked in the images, or it could just be that my arms are longer than the models, and I think that's probably the more likely scenario. But in the photos, it looks as though the sleeves came down lower than the model's hands, but for me, they just kind of stop at my wrists. But that's okay. Doesn't mean that I don't like it. The sleeves are really beautiful. These little love hearts are so cute. I, I can't tell. Do they look bigger in the picture than they really are? I can't tell. Or is that just, again, because I'm a bigger person than the model is? I'm not sure. A little embroidery detail here says, Hello, girl. <laughs> yeah! I think it's really sweet. And in the photo, the model is holding what appears to be like a pile of papers. And then she's just got her hand like this. She's got a black belt on. I don't own any black belts. This is Sam's and I can't do it up because there's no hole to fit my waist. So I'm just gonna do my best and see. You calling me fat? Or should I just say your ass is fat? Like <gasps> P-H-A-T. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that one. That, that one. Archie, come on. You better go up here for the picture. Actually, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. 
So the model is just kind of doing that. Really, really happy with this one. I love it and I think I'm gonna wear it a lot. Oh, it's a skirt. Oh, oh, it's a skirt pinafore. Now I saw this on Mikan, Mikan Mandarin on Instagram. She wears this all over Tokyo. It's this beautiful pinafore skirt that has cherry blossoms sewn into it. And it's got this really, really nice lacy detail here too. That is such, such a beautiful pinafore and it's made so, so well. I can't believe how nice this is. Look, it's got, look. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Sorry the colors have just changed a bit. It's getting really dark outside, so I'm now filming with the overhead light. I hope it doesn't kind of throw off the colors too much, but here's this really, really cute overall skirt. I kind of feel like an Amish person or like, like a farmer, but a pink pastel farmer, so I really like it. This one really, really blew me away in terms of expectation reality. The quality is fantastic. The little cherry blossoms that are embroidered into it are really, really nice. They're sewn in really nicely. So I'm really, really surprised by that. These little laces, they're a little bit thinner than I thought they were going to be and they're not quite as long, but that's okay. The material is quite heavy, but it does crease pretty easily. Here's how it crosses over. I think it's really, really sweet. Now, unfortunately for the expectation reality photo, I don't have any white shirts anywhere. I don't have any white shirts that are like that picture, so we'll just do the best that we can. This is by far one of my favorite things. I think this is so cute. I wish I'd have had this while I was in Japan because I would have worn it absolutely everywhere and I can imagine people in Japan would have really, really liked it too. It does up with a zip on the side here and it's got a little pinafore thing on the inside, like a petticoat. Yeah, it's got a little petticoat on the inside. Kind of feel like Dorothy actually. I don't know why, I get some real Dorothy vibes with this and the suspenders and everything. It's really sweet, I definitely recommend this one too. This is my second favorite thing other than the white turtleneck. So I love this one, so amazing. Okay, next up from Uvini is another skirt. I have been eyeing this off for so long, you have no idea. How nice is that? That is so cute and I love it because when I was in Harajuku, I was looking at these checkered tartan skirts and I bought a blue one but this one I love the pink I love the shade of it the cut on the model looked really nice I'm really excited to pair this with a white turtleneck top and let's see it has shorts built into it as well which I always really really like in skirts I think that that's really good especially if you're tall like me I'm five foot nine and I often find that skirts if they don't have the shorts inside they go they're a little bit too short on me and they end up, you know, you can kind of like see my bum if I stand in a certain way. So I love it when they're shorts. It just kind of gives me a little bit more modesty protection. So this is the last outfit for the day. These pictures are so cute. I love the outfit so much. White turtleneck, pink skirt, pink hat, hairs in a bob. It's so cute. I've been eyeing off this skirt for so long and I'm so, so, so glad that I got it. It's not fitting me quite right, as you can probably tell, because the shorts on the inside, again, are made for smaller torsos, which means that... which means that it's kind of tugging, so it's not actually sitting right. So the only thing that I can really do to stop that from happening is kind of, like, pull around a little bit. Ugh. Okay, Ooh. Archie, stop. Okay, so that's fitting a little bit better now, but in the photos it does look like it fits smaller frames a little bit better, like shorter and smaller frames, but still, I still love it. I did struggle to get this one over my thighs a little bit, and I did struggle to zip it up. So this is a medium, size two US for me, so I would maybe suggest sizing up, possibly. I'm, I'm really not quite sure. This is the sort of thing where I'm just gonna kind of suffer through it being a tiny bit short just because of how much I love it and how cute that I think it looks. And I think that expectation reality-wise, it definitely passes the test. We'll take our photos and see how it looks. Oh, 
Maci, stop! Archie, let go! Archie doesn't like this hat. And then the, the next one, she's kind of doing... Okay guys, well, that's it. That's everything. I absolutely loved this haul so much. Here, look, I'll untuck my hair. I'll do it. Fine. I think this has been one of my favorite haul videos by far that I've ever done, ever. I love it so much. Everything from these websites has been phenomenal. Like the quality is amazing. The cut, the fit, the style, the color, all of it. I love it. I'm not sponsored by Uvini, but as you know, they did give me this stuff for free, but that doesn't affect the way that I'm reviewing it. I'm giving you my honest opinion and I've been so impressed with absolutely everything. This smashes websites like Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing out of the water. I honestly, now that I know about these stores, I, I seriously never want to shop at those other fashion stores again because the quality of this stuff has been so nice and it's so beautiful and I kind of want to chuck out all the other stuff that I have and buy an entire new wardrobe from Uvini and Unazi. So anyway, thank you so much for sending me the clothes. Thank you to everyone that suggested the items to me to review. Thank you for watching this video. It was so much fun to make. Keep an eye out for our next few hauls that are coming up soon. We've got some really, really fun ones. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And without further ado, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Mwah.